Okay, so here we are. This is a little short video to give you a kind of idea of what the exhaust and induction system sounds like. Um, the car is very far from standard. Uh, it has a GTB 2260 turbo fitted to it. Um, that is fitted onto a custom manifold, uh, which I made myself. Turbo is then fitted onto a custom 2.75 inch downpipe, uh, which goes straight down all the way through, no cats whatsoever, into a 2.5 exhaust system, which then exits through a uh, dual exit exhaust. No cats, no silences. Uh, the induction system, which you can just about see is there's a scoop inside there just behind the grill so you get a nice clean shot of cold air into a three inch ram intake which goes into the standard air box um, the standard air box is modified and has an 80 millimeter math sensor fitted to it for obviously the kind of airflow that that bigger turbo is going to require the intercooler is, is much bigger than standard and sits in front. It's got an intercooler spray bar fitted to it as well. Uh, what else do you need to know? R80 fuel pump takes care of the uprated fuel requirements for the bigger turbo, obviously. Uh, you've got bigger injectors that were taken out of an Insignia 160. Uh, 22 bar fuel pressure sensor allows us to take fuel rail pressure from 1600 bar standard up to 2200 or certainly close to it uh, five bar map sensor to allow for the fact that we're running much higher boost uh, currently i believe the boost is set to 44 psi um, but that may well be changed once we've done some um, done some data logging and a bit more mapping um, the car itself brakes brakes wise it's got bigger brakes on the front haven't touched the brakes on the rear yet um, Front wheels are 19s um, with 225 4019 tyres. Uh, inside it's got things like VXR seats, all that sort of malarkey. Um, but let's get the engine started, see what it sounds like. So as you can hear, even on takeover, it's quite a lot louder than it was at standard. Um, as you can see, it's got twin tailpipes on the back. Um, you can even hear on takeover that it is it's quite a lot louder than it would be at standard. Um, the good thing about it is, is that although it's got sort of bearable to it at takeover, once you actually reach cruising speed, the sound is, is quite quiet, if I'm honest. I will do a video later on which um, gives you an idea of what it actually sounds like when it's at full boost because you can you can hear the turbo spooling at full boost it sounds pretty pretty good actually um, I'll just drive them out and rev them up a little bit so you can hear what it sounds like mm -hmm. 